So welcome to Challenge the Road. We're here at VVS, one of my favorite places. And I thought I'd just give you like a whistle stop tour of all their cars and just go through them with you, what they've got in stock, what I think about the models that they've got. So first one, Portofino Ferrari. It's like a silverstone gray with a red, I say more a Bordeaux interior. Looks really, really nice. Um, maybe not a car for me, I think it's, um, convertibles, I'm not overly a fan. I think it does look nice in this combination, I'll give it that. I wouldn't want one probably in red. I think the grey and the Bordeaux looks really nice. And the nice thing on Ferraris now is when you get a new Ferrari, this is only a, a 5,000 mile new one, but when you open this, gives you all the detail of the car now, all the options on it, which is really nice because back in the day, you'd always be going, what's this one got? What's that one got? What carbon fiber? Hard top roof, but yes, yeah, it's a really nice car, this one. So let's head over here and we go along the line. So we've got, it's a customer car, McLaren P1. We spoke about this on some other videos. These are gonna be really strong money going forward. I think it looks like a spaceship to tell the truth in here. Even with all the cars that are here, this looks phenomenal. Electric as well. Fastest probably electric car you ever have. So McLaren P1. Over here, R8, I think this is the 550 plus model, maybe a bit more than that now, 600. I had R8s before, but mainly the V8 manuals. I haven't tried one of these. I'm gonna to talk to Dan actually about taking one of these out because VVS sell a huge amount of R8s in this V10 with the V10 engine. And they say to me, it's a fantastic car. Um, so for me, I had the older style one, which was, four wheel drive manual about 420 horsepower i thought that was enough so god knows what this is like with 600. 675 lt obviously i know these well because dan has sold two of them for me i had three 675 lts um it wasn't a great investment probably one of the worst ones i've ever done but at the moment these are holding up and they're starting to go up this one is a lovely orange color I really like the wheels on it. And I think this is up for just over 200K, but I think these will stay there now and, and probably appreciate. For me, the problem I had was this. So when you drive the car, it's, it's, it's a bit too low for the road. You have to keep using the lift system all the time. Wasn't hugely you know, happy with getting in and out the car. It's fiddly and with my back and around, it was just, I think it's a little bit of a pain. Um, the lights at night, terrible. That's the, that's the only thing, I mean, I think you could probably upgrade these now, they probably do a different bulb, but for me, I do a lot of night driving and I, I wasn't that keen on that. So even though it is fantastic to drive, there is some bits on it. I know people talk about them as a great car, but there's bits on it that I, I wasn't too keen on. Morgan. People know about these and it's got a wooden chassis underneath floor. Um, nice color, cream, very similar to the Caterham that we had actually. A wooden steering wheel. Yeah, it's not something for me, but it, this one looks in fantastic condition. Evo as we come along here, this is a 5,000 mile car. The yellow actually looks really nice. Um, again, not something for me, but I think that the Evo is a really nice car. Not sure how much these are now, probably around 220s around there. Um, lovely wheels on this one. Nice with the black calipers. See there's yellow stitching inside. I think this is a really nice car and a good buy for the summer. Little bit of Aston Martin here. My old DBS that's now sold. Lovely car. I think they look a million dollars. Probably wish I hadn't sold it. Dean's favorite car. This one's an automatic. I had a manual before. I prefer the auto. Two plus two as well. So you've got the little rear seats. Really like this car. I still think it looks fantastic just, just sitting here. Um, I don't think they're going to lose much more money now. I think they're around sort of 80K. I think that's it for them. If you bought one, that's, that's a car I'd 100% go for. Challenge Stradale. Now I looked at this car when it first came in because I had a call from VVS to say, look, we think we've got one of the best UK cars. It's absolutely stunning. I think there's only four Lex and window cars. This is like my all time favorite car. Um, UK wise, there wasn't a huge amount of them made, but the Lexan is the thing with this. This is a collector's piece. The paintwork is the best I've ever seen. 
on a 360 Stradale. A um, bit of PPF here as well helps it, but it's absolutely immaculate. Aston Martin up here, got the older style Vanquish. Lovely looking car again. The arches are massive, but the wheels are really set in. If it was me, I'd probably put spacers on it like I do with the CTRs, but that's lovely color in that black. 599, again, I love the look of these. To drive, it's a little bit soft. That's the only thing you've got to remember with these, it's a little bit soft, but I do love the color with the cream inside, goes really well. FF, look at the selection of cars, there's just so many cars, but the FF, I assume these are around 100,000. Again, lovely gray, brown interior. You can't go wrong, can you? V12, four wheel drive, exceptional value again. There's a couple of cars here I really like now. I was just looking at these earlier, just going, well, I've had a 360, I had a Speciale, and obviously the 430, but this 458 Italia, I think is just the pinnacle of design for Ferrari at that time. For that's what I call like a modern classic for them, usable. I think it looks lovely. And I saw one on the road the other day and I thought, you know what, that's some car, they're gonna go up in value. Again, this one in a green, with sort of a tan interior, with sort of a darker brown. It's a lovely, lovely car. We've got our own uh, 430 here. Rosso Mugello, gold wheels. Again, um, you know, this was a car I had. I had one before. You put this in in previous videos. There's only two or three in the world in Rosso Mugello. Richard Tipper done all the, the cleaning from Perfection Valet. It's absolutely on the money. Um, and it's here for sale, it's, it's 200,000 pounds. I think it's a great buy, it's very low mileage, I think 7,000 miles, so hardly any miles at all. Aston Martin V600, this just looks like a beast to me. And obviously you've got the sort of whole range here of Astons going through their sort of timeline. I love the front on this, I really like the front on this. And it's, it's just mean and the vents here, Seats look huge in there, very big in the old days. All the controls are on the seats as well. The gear knob looks really dated, looks like my Escort Cosworth. But I really like this car. I think that's really good. And they, these would be, you know, an appreciating asset. I can see just looking at it, this is going to go up. So there's a lot of cars to do, but here we have a Hurricane, one of the first Hurricanes, four wheel drive, there's about 600 horsepower, lovely combination, black, red calipers, gray wheels. I think that's a super little combina uh, combination for this car. Um, I think this is now sold, but I'm not sure, but it's, it's good value. Performante in white. It's like a, a matte finish. Uh, these sort of drop down and then race back up. Um, and now they're just sort of leveling off now. It may come down a little bit, but it is, I haven't driven one, but I've heard it's a great car. You do need to try and get sports seats, not race seats. It makes a massive difference on the value of the cars. I like these red sort of center locks on here. And this wheel design is really nice. Carbon on here, all the aero. Then we go into the Porsches. So this is Neil's own personal car. I think he spent a lot of time and money on getting this right. He loves these old 911s. So this is be like a 2.7 uh, Carrera, which is almost like an RS. He's had all the paint done, all the engine done. I think it might even be a 2.8 now, I'd have to check. I mean, these are about a quarter of a million pounds, but what a car this is. It must be lovely to drive. So let's go round 996 GT3. One owner, 6,400 miles, lovely color. I've been looking at this car since I've had it at VVS. It's interesting, it's like a comfort, but it's got bucket seats. So it's actually a really nice car. And I think, you know, long term, I think these are about 100K. Whether these are going to go up, maybe. I know the lights weren't loved um, like the earlier cars, but I think this is a car that could appreciate. I think this is a dot two looking at the spoiler. Um, so yeah, really nice car. And then another one owner car. This has only done 1700 miles, Maserati. Yeah, do I like Maserati? I don't know. It sort of feels like an in-between car. But as I say, this is almost a collector's piece. 1,700 miles, one owner. I assume it's probably 60, 70,000 um, pounds. It's actually a nice looking car, really nice looking car. Challenge Stradale, we spoke about the UK one. This is an imported one, but only 5,000 miles. Slightly better value. UK cars are worth a bit more. 
I drove this car on a previous video. It's really tight, really together. Um, I should really get one. I don't know why I don't buy this one, but obviously we've got a lot of other cars at the moment, but no stripe. I think it actually looks nice with no stripe. I think if I was getting one, I'd love to have a silver one. I think that would be like my dream spec or black. But yeah, this is a fantastic investment for someone. I think this may even be sold now, but Challenge Stradalia again, so few made. But let's go to this one. Really, really like this car. Now I just spoke to Dan and he said he sold it, but I was looking at it last night on the website. Now, this come out for about 107,000. And now what's happening with these cars are going up and up in value. And I think this has sold for over 130,000. So that shows you these are in demand, very few. Um, this is a five litre V8. So you think about all this electric stuff and cars, you think, oh, all these cars would drop in price. Well, they haven't. Um, and the brakes with these blue brakes. I was going to actually sit inside it in a minute because I'd, I'd like to see the new interior on these. But this is a big car. Lights, the back of it, but there's not much boot when I checked, um, which is strange, but there's a lot of, uh, you know, passenger room. But it's just a big, mon it feels like a little bit of a monster truck now. So let's have a look inside and, and have a look at this new interior, see what it's like to sit in. So let's just jump in. You've got little side steps there. In we go. The seat. Yeah, for a hundred and hundred odd thousand pound car, the seats don't seem that great. Um, big steering wheel, actually all Alcantara. This looks better though. This looks better. Let's just see if this ah it's low battery, but all this display here now. I assume this is all touchscreen all display in here now because these were quite outdated even my Range Rover felt quite out of date what we've got in here no fridge oh no we've got a cooler in there yeah that's I like that cup holders everything in the right place feels like it's going to be quite a big car the bonnet is going up so I think it have the illusion that it's bigger whereas stuff like the Wraith and that I've been driving where the bonnet goes off it doesn't feel as bad there but no, it's a, it's a nice place to be. Sunroof as well, which is needed in here because it's just all black in here. Very black, very grey. Surprising they didn't bring a few sort of blue touches in. But yeah, it's the type of car, I don't know, you have like a desire to buy. I don't know why. You look at it and you think, oh, I, I just fancy that. But whether the owner experience would be great, I don't know. Maybe if the, if the owner gives us a test drive, I wouldn't mind taking this out. So this would be a stunning combo, wouldn't it? Defender. And this Mercia Largo. Now this Mercia Largo, 600 miles. These are going up, and I think they're going to go three quarters of a million, maybe a million pounds in the next few years. We just have to wait and see. I was fortunate to have the orange one here, the lowest UK miles car. This is a Singapore one, but this is going up. But I want to just come over here because this is a car when it first came out, I just don't get. But I'm starting to. So if we look at it. It's the Lamborghini Urus. Now I thought when this come out, this would be the biggest flop ever because you've got a massive, I think it's a 4.8 V8, 600 horsepower or whatever, probably much faster than the Hurricanes and on the road, it would be quicker. And I thought these are gonna die a death. They're not hybrid. Now these are still quarter of a million pounds and they're way over list. How is this happening? I don't, I don't get it and then the other day I was thinking about it a bit more because we was coming in here and Dan's been selling quite a few of these Euruses and I thought well you're getting the performance of a supercar but you've got your four or five seats, your boot, so maybe it does make sense. I haven't driven one yet, I'd love to, I drove the DBX but I'm starting to get my head around it now and also people are buying more because they're not losing, they're actually making money, they're having the car and making 10, 15, in some cases, 40,000 over list, which is incredible. This is a lovely spec. It's actually, if I was having one, I'd have this spec, blue, the black wheels. It's got massive brakes, but look at this. 285 front tires, 285, 325 back. This is gonna have more grip than anything. It's probably one of the fastest cars on the road, I assume. So I haven't driven one I'd like to, but I just didn't get it. I thought these were gonna drop in value, um because who would want a lamborghini jeep but they did and now you've got ferrari bringing out a jeep and it's four hundred thousand. 
starting price. So it's, it's crazy. Rolls-Royce Wraith they got in here. Obviously we've got our own one. I do like that one, but this one's in like a purple, with sort of a, a gray roof, um, different color interior, like a creamy sort of tan inside. I do like the Wraiths. They're looking a lot of value. I think this one's around 125,000. Um, maybe not the color for me, but I do like it, really like it. Over here, we've got one of the lowest mileage Mercy Largo SVs. We'd love to have bought this car, but it had gone 3000 mile with comfort seats. Again, these cars are going up. Like, I think they're just gonna go through the half a million and they're gonna go up overnight and you won't be able to get one. That's how I see it. A bit like the Carrera GT and others. Um, the Carrera GT, you know, one and a half million plus. These can't stay at like 400,000 level. They're gonna go up. Aventador, SVs, again, limited number car. These have really held really well, but I really like this one with no spoilers. The S, four wheel steering, probably much better to drive probably than this one, probably nicer seats. This is a sold car, but I think this is the best spec. And I've, I think these have come down to probably just over 200K around there, maybe a bit more, but I really like this car. So thanks for Dan and the team for having us today. We've really enjoyed going around. I hope that gives you a bit of an update. There's a lot of cars to do. Done it as quickly as I can, gave you as much information as I can. And I'd like to try and do these once a month, but thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.